bright duty every student matters hello dear students welcome to another lecture so in our last last lecture we had recorded the first chapter of your book alternate english class 9 which is on the rule of the road by gardiner so ag gardiner in his essay had talked about a stout lady who was walking in the middle of a busy road with a basket in her hand and when she was told to use the pavement for the same she had replied that she was free it was that comment of that lady which made the writer think about the fact that if each one of us is going to think about only our personal liberty then the entire world is going to be very chaotic he also gave the example of a policeman who might have stopped your vehicle at piccadilly circus you being in a hurry would have found that very rude and that might have made you very angry as well but you ought to understand that a person you know who is stopping you from doing something which is wrong is also doing the same with the other people and if this was not to be followed the entire piccadilly circus would have been a maelstrom it would have been a chaos and none of you would have been able to cross your vehicles from there he further tells us that there are two kinds of liberties one is the liberty that we can practice within our kingdom you know wearing the kind of clothes that we find good eating the kind of food that we like and then uh, you know drinking sleeping all the things that affect nobody but ourselves so when you think of doing any such thing you need not take anybody's permission but the moment you step out of your kingdom you step out of your zone and when your actions are going to impact the actions or uh, the beliefs of the outside world there will be a chance that the other person's liberty is at risk and that is when you need to think and decide whether you should do that or you shouldn't so he through this uh, you know essay is simply trying to tell us that in this world these days there are no specific or grand occasions that we will get to prove how heroic and brave we are but it is through these small small acts of ours that we can prove how civilized or uncivilized we are whether we can stand out in the society and do something which uh you know is making the others proud of ourselves or create a chaos in the society so that is something which is to be decided by yourself so now let us move ahead with the discussion of the back exercises okay there is a danger of the world getting liberty drunk these days like the old lady with the basket and it is just as well to remind ourselves of what the rule of the road means So what does the writer mean by liberty drunk As I told you being liberty drunk means thinking only about your own liberties thinking only about your own freedom without considering the freedom of anybody else How was the old woman liberty drunk because she was only thinking about her freedom and was walking in the middle of the road having a basket in her hand thinking that she had the freedom to do so what does the role uh, the rule of the road imply the rule of the road simply implies that all the liberties the liberty of one person is automatically and directly connected to the liberty of the other person and we all need to keep that in mind only then would there be a social conduct there would be a social discipline and a social peace that would be maintained if i choose to go down the road in a dressing gown who shall say me nay you have liberty to laugh at me but i have liberty to be indifferent to you and if i have a fancy for dyeing my hair or waxing my mustache 
or wearing an overcoat and sandals or going to bed late or getting up early i shall follow my fancy and ask no man's permission what do you th- think was the tone of this extract so the writer was obviously very humorous he was not sarcastic because he was not making fun of anybody he was humorous he was just trying to be funny with what he's written so there's a difference between sarcastic and humorous how does gardiner illustrate the argument that individual liberty can easily convert to social anarchy so how is he doing that now the moment this question comes in front of you the word that i came across was social anarchy and do you remember this word was there in the very first paragraph of your essay so the writer has used the word social anarchy in order to highlight the fact that when the woman who was walking with a basket in the middle of the road commented that she was doing so because she was free because of her exercising her personal freedom she was creating a social chaos she was creating a universal chaos and the writer wishes to tell us that being liberal is something which is different but we should not be too consumed with our liberty that we consider ourselves to be anarchs that we consider ourselves to be the rulers of the world who cannot be stopped by anyone is gardener's policeman a symbol of tyranny or liberty explain now this is very simple and very well explained in the essay itself the policeman who's been used by gardener in his essay was certainly a symbol of liberty why the gardener uh, the policeman was a protector of everybody's liberty the reason why he stopped the vehicle from moving ahead was not because he was tyrannical but because had that vehicle moved ahead then everybody would have just uh, you know run their vehicles without following any rules and the entire piccadilly circus would have turned into a maelstrom so that policeman used his hand so that he could protect and preserve the liberties of every individual look at any one example that gardener uses how does this appeal to you and how does the example serve the purpose so the you know gardener has actually used multiple examples in his essay i am going to use the example of this policeman only so how does this example appeal to me now the ga- uh, gardener has used the example of a policeman as we have discussed in the question above not as a symbol of tyranny but as a symbol of liberty i would even say that this uh, policeman was a protector of liberty he was the one who was entitled to guard the liberties the freedoms of all the people and how is this example serving the purpose the example is serving the purpose to inform and to apprise all the people that if one wants the world to be socially peaceful if one wants the world to be socially in place and systematic and organized then we have to keep this in mind that our liberty should not interfere with the liberty of somebody else and that is exactly what the policeman was doing he stopped that car uh, driver to practice his personal liberty which might have created a chaos at the piccadilly circus prove that the rule of the road is the foundation of social conduct certainly social conduct what do we mean by social conduct it simply means whether we are civilized or we are uncivilized in nature it defines our character it defines our nature it defines the kind of people we are and so it is through these uh, you know this rule of the road that we can actually portray our true true character 
we can put to the fourth how and what kind of a person are we from within. So therefore, the way we exercise our rights and liberties on the road, on the street, that is going to define the kind of civilized or uncivilized people that we are. What makes instructors, uh, gardeners instructive essay charming? So how did gardeners instructive essay become charming? So according to me, his essay was charming because rather than just being informational, I would say, his use of humor, his use of smart examples, be it of the old lady, or the policeman, or his humorous comments on a person who can, you know, move on to the streets in a dressing gown and can, uh, you know, just wear an overcoat or sandals. So, all these three things only end up highlighting the important messages that Gardiner wanted to give, but in a very light and, and uh, you know, interesting manner okay so going beyond uh, these two questions are to be done by you or by your own self because they are very general in nature so with this my dear students we come to the end of this chapter so i hope the chapter was very clear to you because because we've explained to you all the difficult words expressions meanings and the back exercises are also discussed with you at length so I hope the chapter is clear and I shall see you all now in my next lecture. Thank you.